Number two, Yukon Huskies. They've never lost in St. Thomas. Purdue, the challengers at the Paradise Jam tonight. Because she's gonna have her hands full down low with two of the preseason All-Americans for Yukon. They've got three preseason All-Americans on the roster. This is a challenge that she's gonna accept off the glass. Underneath, Collier found a little room along the baseline. Left it away from Harris. Katie Lou Samuelson triggers a three. Laughlin, Samuelson forces the turnover. You're like 6-4 in denial up there. Katie Lou Samuelson. From Kristen Williams for the offensive rebound for Katie Lou Samuelson. Lines up her third three-pointer and rolls it home. The rolling ball. Off a little quick on that trigger. Did not have her feet set. Katie Lou, the drive and lay in. It's about the third time that Purdue has short armed a shot. You got to think a little bit of intimidation, the size. His associate head coach, Chris Daly, was trying to talk Gino off the ledge. Make that Kristen. They gotta find a way to deny those kinds of opportunities though. The free, fro free throw line jumper for Megan Walker. Good job. Oh, good, good, intimidated inside. That was an excellent play by Purdue. Danger field, stutter dribble, swim move, floater. I love her game. And Lindsay Wilby hit the side of the backboard. Katie Lou Samuelson two on two the other way with her friend Nafisa Collier and says I can pass the ball too. This, play now, this is six foot four, no look. Delivery, do they need her long range shooting? Might open up something in the middle. Kyla Irwin's underneath for UConn. We need to get some kryptonite in the gym to slow down Katie Lou. Collier. And a takeaway by Collier on the lob under the basket. UConn just sets up in such great position and Samuelson in between two defenders. Dangerfield looking for Collier, gets it back on a handoff. Around a screen, fakes the pass and that leaves a wide open lane for the lay-in. Collier tosses McLaughlin to the floor, goes to Williams for three. Nothing but twine for Kristen Williams, another freshman for 11 straight years. They get there to the big stage. It's going to be about finishing this year. Nelson Adota, the oh, freshman, wow. got it down there from Dangerfield and a nice spin move. The cutter go and told Collier to pick her up as Purdue's running a man behind the zone. And a pull up at the elbow for Kristen Williams, that's five. Wow. Nelson Adota in the paint. Katie Lou Samuelson trying to follow. Fatu Jang doing everything she could. And then Collier cleans it up for UConn. Both ends of the floor. Yeah, I mean, their defensive effort's been tremendous. Collier right away to start half number two. Bit of a lackluster night last night against St. John's. Yeah, again, Purdue, they're painting for the sins of St. John's playing well. UConn not. Nafisa Collier, easy drive down the lane. Now from Nafisa Collier. Now, Carissa McLaughlin has struggled because of the size mismatch she has. Can't get open looks. Farquhar, Collier was challenging. Walker got it up to Dangerfield quickly. Now, Farquhar cannot hit. She missed the shot. The second half, you need to come out and play for your best basketball, or you can just waste 20 minutes of your time. How about the pretty passing back and forth between Walker and Dangerfield? I'll just play here with Dangerfield, Collier. I think those two have played together for a while. That's right. Katie Lou Samuelson on a handoff and a deep three. Katie Lou Samuelson, the rebound for UConn. Six boards, 20 points for Samuelson. Kristen Williams out of the corner. She compliments the other starters on this UConn team. Samuelson got an unselfish quick touch back from Crystal Dangerfield. This is textbook. Tip pass. Hands up and ready. Presence. You know, I live in Iowa City where the U of I's at, and the big Hawks is a force in the middle. She comes from a town of about 12 in Wisconsin. <laughs> Farquhar trying to take it down low, and Nelson Dota said, no way. 
Kristen Williams all alone for three. She likes those corners. <laughs> yes. Rim, finding the defender, pinning, and the ball was being come up the side, and then they were getting their. There it is. Irwin down to a donut. Oh, look at that drop step. That's big time. <laughs> and as a coach, you work on that footwork that Nelson <laughs> Adota did last play on for UConn. So we've seen all 12 now for the Huskies. He's coaching his future All-American right there on the sideline. Backdoor cut, bent, left it with Kamara. I'd, you and I were around for the men's side. We've done that before, but I've really enjoyed watching these girls play, especially yeah. working with you. Second-ranked Huskies, a 46-point win to claim their third Paradise Jam championship. Make it look easy every time they come down to Paradise. And they will fly back to Stores, Connecticut, one happy bunch with a little more weight in the bag as they add the hardware to take on home.